it's it's an ongoing experiment and to bring the camera here now in Berlin and especially to connect it with the you know I, th I think it really needs a, an operator like, like you have been and Jan has been to to to, f to connect this this camera and the spirit and the material uh, with the photographers There's somebody who lives things and is passionate about that and you know you cannot do it on the side but just putting it on a nice place so that's what I'm doing at the moment it needs more it was one of these coincidences um, Jan Nisto um, was in uh, Vienna shooting with Schnabel um, and uh, the place where the shooting was or at least uh, the guys who organized it also have an auction and I think Jan after having been approached by uh, Doc many times to take over the camera to let go um, uh, and, and I know he was like, I don't want to say tired, but he wanted to uh, uh, draw a line and, uh, and we never succeeded. Um, and I think he decided to give the camera to an auction. And uh, um, for us it would be a disaster because the camera would disappear. And uh, I think that was the trigger. Um, and, and Doc called me in, in, in the night. I mean, it was, uh, he said, we have less than six hours. Uh, Jan is sleeping. He will decide tomorrow morning, but I will tell him. Um, that we will buy the camera. Can you help me? And I was checking my financials in that evening and during that evening and uh, um, I said, okay, I give you a green light, I give you all the money that I have and uh, let, let's buy it. Give him the promise that we, we try to keep that camera alive and that we will continue that spirit that uh, I was grown up with and uh, for me it was a dream come true. I mean, I was in the early 20s, uh, 21, 22, 23, when I, when I worked with Jan and uh, get in touch with the 20 by 24 camera. And then uh, about 30 years later, I, uh, um, I can continue that um, and open that book again together with Doc. Uh, and a person that I met uh, here in Berlin who is uh, an artist and photographer um, who will operate the camera. And uh, um, this is what I'm uh, really looking forward to, uh, that we finally have A, the uh, studio here in Berlin that we always wanted to have in the times when it was in between Frankfurt and, and Prague. And, uh, um, and second, that uh, we have a young artist, uh, Oliver Blom is his name, uh, operating the camera and, uh, and keeping it alive. A lot of people don't know what this camera is and still looking like me, it's like a, a treasure from, from centuries ago. But when you start to explain, you start to uh, show them images about the value, the uniqueness, um, it's always like a wow effect and people are super interested and because photography in our time which is super digital is like clack 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 and you have like thousands of images on your hard drive and don't know what to do with it but this is somehow the most unique photographic process you can achieve on the shooting and you have always original real original this is what you have into your hand it's <clears throat> it's like a painting but this material has such an energy that, you know, even with, with us sitting here, you know, I am a biologist, you are an artist, and somehow this material made us do things we would have never dreamed of doing. You know, you started a, a factory, I bought a factory, a totally crazy, not, and then, but this, it has an incredible power. Um, not only inspiring artists to do incredible things, but also, you know, people changing their minds uh, and and doing things they had never done before it has such an incredible energy and uh, so i'm very positive that if we if we help this material to survive and if we connect it to the right people then it, it, you know many 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 things will will be will happen and we will be triggered